This is calculator question number 19 for the May 2019 SAT. College Board is asking which of these tables gives a nonlinear relationship. So let's take a look at the choices. In choice A, y goes up by 3, and then 3, and then 3 as x goes up 1 each time. In choice B, again, x is going up by 1 each time, y goes up by 4, 4, 4. Since these have a constant difference in y when x goes up by a constant, they have a constant slope, which means they're linear. Here, 8 plus 5 is 13, 13 plus 5 is 18, 18 plus 5 is 23. Again, when x goes up by 1, y goes up by 5, so this is linear. Here, y goes up by 6, 12, 24, as x goes up by 1. Our y values are multiplied by a constant rather than added, adding a constant each time. If you multiply y by a constant, that's exponential, so choice D is exponential and not linear. Choice D would be the correct answer. The College Board often asks you to com compare linear and exponential models and identify the correct one according to the words of their problem. In this case, choice D is the exponential and the other three are linear. Come back soon for my next video with math there's always more.